Hello, my name's Linda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I'm going to do a part two of a gift bag that I made the other day. Um, and I'm using the Making Christmas Bright and the Making Everyday Bright. And I will have to watch the other video first where I made a small gift bag using the gift bag punch. And I'm just showing you an alternative uh, design for the gift bag. And I'm, I've already cut it out ready. So, and I've started decorating it as well. So, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be decorating the um, the side panels of our bag. So, I'm going to be bringing this in. So, I have something to stamp on, and I'm going to be using the fairy lights in the Making Christmas Bright. And I'm using the Memento ink, and I've already got them ready to go. So we need to mask this area off. So I'm going to mask along the score line on each side. Try that again. Okay, and this is going to be the base of our box, so I'm going to mask that area as well. And then I'm going to ink my fairy lights up. I mean, this is quite simple. And then stamp. And then ink and stamp and ink and stamp until we get to the bottom of our bag. There we go. So that's quite simple. And we can take these off. Get rid of that. I've used the um, some of my Stampin' Right markers just to colour these in. And I'm just going to colour them in really quickly. Um, I'm using Lemon Lime Twist. I'm using Pink. So I'm using... Um, a powder, is it the powder pink? Oh, upside down. Yep, powder pink. And this one is the Berry Burst and the Flirty Flamingo. And I'm also just adding a little bit of um, Cherry Cobbler because I'm going to have a little bit of Cherry Cobbler on the decoration on the front of the bag. So I've just done those very quickly. And we're going to um, put this box together. So I, I'm going to fold and burnish my lines now. I didn't want to do that before I did my stamping. Because it would have made it a bit trickier. Oh, well, I'm way off, way off camera there. It would have made it a bit trickier to um, stamp on. So these little flaps are the bottom. This is the bottom of our bag. And these bits are the sides. And we're going to stick it together. Where's my tear and tape? Here it is. So I'm going to put, this is the tab, which does the side up. So I'm going to put some on there. It's going to shut like this, so that's going to be the back, and that's going to be the front. So I've put my tear and tape, I've put some on the tab, and then on the inside flaps, I've put some on both of these. I'm going to just take the back end off of this one. And then fold it. It should fit perfectly. And then the front, this is the front of my box, and this is the back. No, the other way round. 50-50 <laughs> chance. This is the back of my box. So the back of the back of my bag is where you've got your little tab. So we're going to fold these two in and take off the tape back in, the back end of the turn tape. 
I've taken the backing off my term and tape and I'm just going to close up the one side and then the other side turn it over and just get your bone folder in there and push it down and there we go and now I'm going to decorate the front so what I've done here let's come in a bit I've using my um, layering circles I have cut a piece of whisper white and then a piece of cherry cobbler and it's with the little scalloped circle that's just a tiny bit bigger and then this is the um, the Subtles Designer Series paper pack that comes in um, a 6x6 pack and that is the same size as this one and with this I'm going to just cut a little bit of snow like so and I'm going to bring in so I've, I've done these little penguins now these are on the making everyday bright and there he is I've used the penguins before I love them I've stamped him out already I've just colored his little bobble hat in with cherry cobbler and I've put a number two and that is from the and I've lost it. I can't find it. And that is from the Pig a Pennant. And you've got the uh, letters here and the numbers here. And I'm going to use my punch to punch out my little penguin. There he is. And I'm going to stick him. In like this. I mean, if you're do if you're making um, 24 of these, you don't want them to be too complicated, but you could, of course, change them. Do do a different design for each one. Do some do 12 a little bit more complicated and 12 simple. And there we go. And I'm just going to glue the snow onto the bottom of my circle and then that's going to go onto my cherry cobbler and then we're going to stick this the front of our box there we go you could actually do some stamping behind here as well and then I'm going to bring in I've got my little gold library clip and this time I'm using the braided linen trim a little bit more rustic. I'm going to pop that, pop it through the hole. Well, it's easy to say, not quite so easy to do. There we go. I should maybe have made this a little bit longer. And then we can close him up here. And clip him on. And there you go, you've got this lovely pattern at the side. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed watching this. There's lots and lots and lots of options for this. Thanks for watching. Bye.